hello, hello, OMG. Welcome back to my channel. So excited you're here. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. It's Jody Dunn. I appreciate you. I'm outside of the Walgreens to do another Walgreens haul this week because how can you not? The deals are so fantastic with all of these P&G promotions happening. If you're new and you just found me, so happy that you were here. Would you please say hello to me and let me know you are new right down there. I would love to welcome you and say hello to you. And if you are already subscribed, thanks so much for coming back to another video. I appreciate you. So I posted my Sunday Walgreens haul just learning about the P&G promotion because Lorena had posted it on her Instagram, but not really knowing any details. And I don't, I shop first thing on Sunday morning, so I don't have time to like watch videos all throughout the day and see what's working. So I really just went in there blindly and tested a couple of things that did not work and some things that did work. So now I have a better understanding thanks to you guys that have commented and told me like this was working, this wasn't working, this was working, this wasn't working. So I appreciate that so much. So we're just going to take advantage of uh, these awesome deals that are happening on some great P&G products. I'm not working with any spend boosters. I don't have a digital. I don't have a paper. I didn't get a digital on any of my accounts. And a lot of you commented that you didn't either. But there were a few comments that got like a spend 40, earn 10, I think. So I, I did not get that on any of my accounts. And I know a lot of you were in the same boat. So hopefully next week we'll get digital spend boosters back. I'm just going to focus on working on my monthly spend booster. I feel like this is a great week to do it with all of these deals. So I actually came on Monday to do some shopping and I might finish up on Tuesday when you see this video. So if you enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much. Let's go grab some awesome deals. Happy Tuesday or whatever day it is that you're watching this. I'm hoping to have this posted on Tuesday. I'll explain why in a second. But we are back in the Walgreens to grab some more awesome deals. So I came on Monday to do this first deal, uh, which I kind of figured my store was going to be a lot of the paper products. They had one of the little Charmins left. And they do have a couple of Bounty Essentials, but none of the two equals five rolls which are part of the deal. They have the two equals six. Anyways, I'm not gonna be able to grab paper and that's fine. So I'm gonna be working on getting a $15 PNG register reward. So the first thing I'm grabbing are these double pack of Airwick refills that are on sale, two for $16. The only way this is a good deal is if you have insert coupons. If you don't have insert coupons, this is not that great of a deal unless you really want the product. I do have insert coupons, which are for $5 off of each pack. So I'm going to throw in two of these. Just buying two of these by themselves, you would pay $6. You could pay it with Walgreens cash and get back a $5 P&G coupon. It would make them 50 cents each, which is an awesome deal. So when I came shopping on Sunday morning, my store still doesn't have tags up for this. I was simply going by the tags that Lorena had shared on Instagram. I didn't know really anything. I was going in blind. Now I know that the promotion is tiered and it's spend 20. No, it's spend 15. You earn a $5 P&G register reward. Spend 30, you earn a $10 P&G register reward. And spend 45 and you earn back a $15 P&G register reward. So I'm going for the spending 45 in participating P&G products. I'm grabbing one of these big gain not gain, Tide Pods for $12.99. I do have a $3 digital coupon. Now, when I say participating, the smaller packs of laundry haven't worked for the P&G Register Reward promotion in forever. They're not working now. I tested the smaller sizes of Crest and Oral-B on Sunday. That did not work. Olay Body Wash is not going to work. It hasn't in a long time. So, unfortunately, there is no master list to know what products exactly are included. It's just kind of testing out deals and seeing what other people are getting that worked and didn't work. I know the Pampers works because I got it on Sunday. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab Pampers again and grab some more diapers for my grandbabies. I did already use my $3 off two digital for these, but I do have a $2 off one digital. 
And these are also on a promotion when you buy two, you earn back a $4 register reward. So all of these PNG products total me $49.99. So I should earn back a $15 register reward for the PNG and a $4 register reward for the Pampers. But I'm one cent short to be able to use $20 in Walgreens cash. And this still track as a trip towards my monthly spend booster. So I'm adding this uh, candy corn because I love candy corn. So that way it will track for another trip. So you can see my booster, monthly booster, I have to make three more purchases. And I do have a video linked down in the description box where I walk you through how to find this tracking in real time if you are interested. And my goal for today is to knock out two more of those purchases so that next week I'll only have to do one more and I'll earn that $20 in Walgreens cash. So now with my candy corn, I have $51.58 worth of product here. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a couple of register rewards, one of them being the PNG register reward because it expires three days after you earn it. So you gotta use those up real quick. And of course it rolls, all re register rewards roll, all of them, every single one of them, they have for about two years now. So I'll be able to use $20 in Walgreens cash to get a lower out of pocket cost and it will still trap track towards my um, monthly booster as a trip. I do have a video linked down in the description box as well where I walk you through how to use Walgreens cash on any spend deal and still earn back your Walgreens cash. All right, I'm back on Tuesday morning to do another transaction and I'm going to go ahead and grab these for Breeze again because I do have the insert coupons and these are just a fantastic item and for 50 cents each, it just makes them a great deal. So I'm going to throw in two of my $5 paper coupons. And when I came into the store on Tuesday morning, uh, the whole system was down. Basically what was happening is if you tried to put in your um, Walgreens number, it was shutting the whole computer down. So at the moment I was in the store, all of the registers were down. They were kind enough to let me just put my basket aside and I had to come back later when the system came back up. All right, my store is still out of paper products completely now. Um, I'm gonna try the Cascade. I have no idea if this is working for the PNG uh, register reward, but I'm gonna try it because I am starting to run low on Cascade. These are two for $16. I'm guessing the small ones would not work just like the small laundry do not work, but I don't know that for sure because again, we don't have a master list of which products are participating and which are not. So I'm gonna test out these bigger packs of Cascade. And so far the Febreze items, the Tide items, and the Cascade items that I'm getting today are all part of the P&G Visa rebate. So I'm gonna be able to submit for another $15 Visa rebate. And I've talked about this in several videos, but I got a free $10 from my points again. So I'm sure most of you are aware of this. I've covered it in, I don't know, four or five videos now, but this one hit my um, PayPal yesterday afternoon. The points that you need to cash out for either a $15 PayPal credit or a $25 PayPal credit are exactly the same. So you're basically getting a free $10. I still have two that are pending. So I'll be able to use that free $10 in this haul. And I just checked as of Tuesday uh, afternoon, it's still that way. So cash out if you haven't already. All right, next thing I'm gonna add is this $9 crest. I'm grabbing one of the 3D whitening. I knew I should have grabbed this on Sunday in my haul. That's what I, I told you guys already on Sunday. I bet this one would work. And a ton of you confirmed that it did indeed work. So I grabbed these two crests at $9. These are on promotion for buy two, earn back a $5 register reward. I have a $4 digital coupon for each one. So I'll pay 10, earn back a $5 register reward, makes them 250 each. If you haven't claimed the Ibotta rebates, which I did a couple weeks ago, it would be an even better deal for you. But now all of these products total me $50 even. So I should, hopefully, if the Cascade is included, earn back a $15 PNG register reward. Uh, I'm gonna throw in another $5 PNG register reward in this one as well to help me pay because it expires tomorrow. And because I have $50 in product, I can safely use $20 in Walgreens cash, get a lower out-of-pocket cost, and track another trip towards my monthly spend booster. 
Now, I did go walking down the candy aisle just to check an OMG. My store did restock only on the peanut M&Ms. It's been like two weeks. So I'm going to go ahead and grab, I think I'm going to grab six boxes. So these are on sale four for four. So six boxes will ring up for $6. And then I'm going to use the IVC coupon, a dollar off of two boxes. So I'll actually only pay $3 for these. They'll be 50 cents each. But I want to use a candy store coupon. Uh, so I'm grabbing some Twix bars, three for $3. So I'll have $6 in candy here. So I'm going to use this $5 store coupon that I got from doing the uh, Baby Ruth and stuff like that that we already did, which that deal is still going on. Spend 20 and you earn back a $5 store coupon. Um, now, it is a store coupon, so it will literally scan for any products. You don't technically have to buy candy with it. However, your cashier may say you're not buying candy. I'm using it on candy today just because I was excited to see the M&Ms were back in stock and I wanted to grab a few more boxes. And I'm going to do the candy in a totally separate transaction. And the reason I wanted to make sure I had $6 worth of product is because that $5 store coupon will not work if you have exactly $5 in product. You have to have at least $5 in a penny for that store coupon to work. So I'm just gonna do that one separately and then I'll do my um, big P&G deal. So let's head to the kitchen table and go over this Walgreens haul. All right, we are back at the kitchen table with this Walgreens haul. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Oh my God, and John and Jean will. That was the only benefit of uh, the store system going down. Otherwise, I would have filmed this way earlier today, but Donna Jean is back from school. So uh, it took like, I think about 1 p.m. is when I was able to finally check out and the system worked. So if you tried to go to Walgreens today, you could not enter your phone number, which means none of your coupons would come off. You wouldn't earn any Walgreens cash. What a big fat mess that was. And it, they said it was corporate wide. So anyways, uh, glad that I was able to get that done and hopefully get this video up for you today. So excited to do all of these P&G deals with these register rewards. So let's go over my receipts. So I did the um, Pampers in the first transaction, the Tide Pods, the two Febreze, and then I added the um, candy corn because I wanted to be able to use $20 in Walgreens cash. So I used the um, two $5 Febreze coupons and then um, I had a $4 register reward I used and a $5. I think I showed you a three in the store, but I realized that the $3 was not the one expiring quicker. So I wanted to use the one expiring quicker. And then my digital coupon for the um, two dollars for the Pampers and three dollars for the Tide came off, so twenty seven fifty eight was my subtotal. I just used twenty dollars in Walgreens cash and paid the subtotal of seven fifty eight, and then I earned back my four dollar register reward for the Pampers and got my P and G register reward. Is it gonna? There we go. $15. That is so, so awesome. Expires in three days. So, of course, I got to go back to Walgreens again uh, to use that up. So, that was awesome. And this transaction right here with the Tide and the Febreze gave me enough that I can submit for another $15 P&G Visa mixed with some other receipts. Then I went back this morning to do this one. I wanted to test out since my store was all out of paper product because I really did want to stock up on some more paper product. Hopefully they'll restock, um, but I'm not too hopeful on that because it's such a great deal on paper products. I think everybody ran out to get that, but I was super happy to grab the Cascade and test out if that was working for the PNG coupon. So there they are on sale two for 16. Got two more for Breeze and then my two Crest products. So I use those $5 Febreze coupons, which is funny because over here the day before, it shows that they're for Febreze. Now it doesn't show what they're for, but this was after the system had come back up. But anyways, I used the $5 register reward that I had got from P&G, and then both of my $4 digitals off the Crest came off. $27 even was what I paid. I redeemed $20 in Walgreens cash and paid the $7 subtotal. 
I earned back my $5 register reward for um, the Crest products. And then I got my P&G coupon. And I'm trying to be dramatic, but it's not wanting to. It's $15. <laughs> it's not wanting to. Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. $15. So the Cascade is definitely included, which is awesome. So this transaction, well, this one right here, um, ended up being a cost of $2.58 after factoring in my $15 PNG visa that I'm submitting for. This one right here ended up being a cost of $12, which I thought was pretty good for two of the bigger packs of Cascade, but I was working with that 10, that free $10 from my points. So it actually only ended up costing me $2. So for all of these P&G items, we're looking at a cost of $4.58, which I think is fantastic. And I tracked two more trips on my monthly spend booster. So now I only need, you can see, I'll pop it up on the screen. I only need one more trip to earn that $20 for my monthly spend booster. So hopefully I'll actually get a digital spend booster for next week. Um, or maybe I'll finish it this week. I don't know. Uh, I have another account. I'm trying to decide if I want to track for that one. I could do some more of these PNG <laughs> deals because uh, they're so fantastic. Um, then I just did the quick candy deal right here. So there's all my M&Ms with my IVC coming off and the Twix. I used that $5 store coupon. My subtotal was a dollar. I just used a dollar in Walgreens cash. Just a little treat for me. I was happy to see that they restocked on at least something of the theater candy that's working. That $1 off two IVC coupon only works on the regular M&Ms, the peanut M&Ms, and two forms of Skittles. And that was all my store had. So anyways, there you go. That is what I have for you. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I hope you're able to score some awesome uh, P&G items and roll and use those P&G coupons this week. Have a great day. Bye.